of these black bins out here. These are mulch pile bins. And inside them I put yard waste, which is grass clippings, uh, not that I have much grass, uh, leaves, shrubbery trimmings. I also put all kitchen waste that's vegetable and fruit. I don't put uh, meat bones in there. It will go up to the very, very top and then it'll slowly break down. And in a year you'll have nice dark soil that's filled with nutrients. You want to put it in layers of green, which means like what you're seeing here with the cantaloupe, tea bags, limes, uh, mango seeds, onions. There are coffee grounds. There are tea bags. All of this goes into the compost pile. Paper towels, eggshells, you can do newspaper. And you know what? You put dog doo doo in there. You could even put human doo doo in there. Even I have not gone that far. If I see anything that needs some trimming, I add it on and I just add on. You want to keep your compost pile in a um, moist, in the sense of a, a wrung out rag. Oh no, there's a beetle who's on his back. What are you doing getting on your back? I'm not going to get on our backs. Let's let them recover. They, they have a hard time, don't they? Now there are tumblers, compost tumblers. I've not used one, but they say those compost tumblers work a lot faster. You recovering, baby? And I've got to put him off my hands so he can feel better. We still have our leaves on the trees, but many of you do not. As your leaves fall, please do not bag them up. Here's the bin I was showing you all just uh, six weeks ago. In six weeks, how much it has gone down. It's gone from being here all the way down to here. I haven't turned it or anything. This is what mulch does when you've got your compost pile at the proper temperature for it to break down. How did I do this? I added a ton of dog droppings and uh, you can put that in your compost. Now, you will hear and read. I mean, I have seen and I just want to giggle people who say, oh no, you can't do dog droppings. Not, not at all. Oh, that's just awful. I mean, excuse me, if you take your animals to the vet, if they're healthy, wormed, uh, there's nothing wrong with putting dog droppings in there whatsoever. I do draw the line at cat droppings simply because of toxoplasmosis. But dog doo doo is fine. Why throw that stuff in the trash when it's filled with nitrogen and nutrients and it can go into your, your compost bin and be turned into fertile, rich soil for your plants? You're healthy, aren't you, buddy? What do you do with all that extra, excellent, nitrogen rich fertilizer you've got coming out of you every day for free? Put it on your compost bins. Put your urine in here. Some people say, oh, don't use oleander leaves in there because they're poisonous. I have been using compost mulch with plenty of oleander leaves, pouring it on their soil. They do fine. And if you get your compost hot enough to burn off the weed seeds, you can put weeds in there. This is just grew up naturally wild. I mean, I don't know what it is. Once it goes dormant, I'm going to put that in the uh, compost bins. Oh my goodness, look at this. Can you see that? Let me see if you see that. That is a grasshopper with a baby grasshopper on top. If that isn't cute, look at that. Do you see that? Mama grasshopper with baby grasshopper on top. And look where she is. Right here on this um, thing, whatever it is. If that isn't cute. Hello, grasshoppers. Now, Mama, you watch out because uh, I don't want anybody getting hurt by Raphael. He eats grasshoppers, unfortunately. Hello, grasshoppers, if you two aren't cute. Before I get back to what this is really about, I just got had to get them from a different angle. They get nervous when I get too close. But I guess she doesn't want to jump with baby on her back. So I'm going to back up now and get on with the rest of my mulch uh, talk. These bins, they were on sale. Got them for something like $50 each. They're originally $100 each. You know, go look around and find something on sale or make something yourself. It's easy to do. Uh, you could make things out of pallets. Anything that lets the air into your organic matter. When your leaves are falling, pile them up into a mulch pile 
add dog droppings if you have dogs. Add your own urine because urine will make it break down too because that's chock full of nitrogen. And then next spring, you'll have some compost to put on your plants. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Bye-bye.